today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to install Magic Thumb in Joomla. Magic Thumb is a great way to display lots of images without taking up too much space. It uses a light box effect which means images load instantly. You'll see the Joomla icon on the right hand side of the main product page which will take you to the Magic Thumb for Joomla page. Download the demo version you need for your site and then go to the Joomla admin area and select Extensions, Extension Manager. Browse your computer for the extension you've just downloaded and select Upload and Install. Next, go to Extensions, Module Manager, find the Magic Thumb extension you've just installed. You can see it currently has a circle icon next to it. By clicking this, you'll enable Magic Thumb and the circle will change to a tick. Now go to Extensions Plugin Manager. You'll only need to do this step if you use the Tiny MCE Editor. Click on the link Editor Tiny MCE. Go to the Basic Options section on the right hand side. Make sure Functionality is set to Extended. Scroll down the page to Extended Valid Elements. To get the elements you need, go back to the Magic Thumb for Joomla page and scroll down to number 3 under the Tiny MCE section. Copy the Extended Valid Elements shown and paste them in the Extended Valid Elements field like so. Next, click Advanced Parameters and scroll to the Advanced link. You can see it's currently set to on we need to select the off option. By following this step you will stop Joomla stripping out any ID and rev attributes from A tags. Next go to content article manager. Find the article you're working on. Now we're going to add magic thumb to the article. Click the image option. Find the small image you want to appear on your web page. Highlight the image you want to use and click insert. Next, select the image like so and click insert edit link. A box will appear. On the link tab, go to the URL field and this time enter the image URL location for your large image. I'm just going to change a couple of things in my URL so it's correct. At the bottom of the link tab, there's a title field. The text you enter in this field will appear underneath the enlarged image on your web page. Next, go to the Advanced tab. In the Classes field, enter Magic Thumb. Make sure Magic Thumb is one word and that each word begins with a capital letter. Then click Insert and save your changes. Now go to the article on your website to see Magic Thumb in action. My article is already showing so I'll just refresh the page. You can see the small image which expands using the large image URL I referenced earlier. You can also see the text entered in the title field appears underneath my expanded image. Now Magic Thumb is installed, let's make a couple of changes. First I'm going to remove the click to enlarge text. Then I'll darken the background area around my enlarged image. To make these changes, go back to your Joomla admin area and click Extensions. Oh, I need to close my article first. Okay, now go to Extensions Module Manager. Find the Magic Thumb extension and click the link. Go to the Basic Options section on the right hand side and scroll down to Show Message under Image. Mark this as no. The fade background colour is defaulted to black, which I'm going to keep. You can change this to any colour you want. The opacity of the background effect is set to zero, which I'll change to 40. Remember to save your changes. Now if we refresh our article, you can see the click to enlarge text is gone. And there is now background colour around the enlarged image. The Magic Thumb extension has lots of customization options for you to choose from. As I've just shown, it's really easy to make changes. 
So try all the options and see what works best for your Joomla website. At the top of each page on our website, there's a Contact Us link. If you need any additional help with Magic Thumb or any of our other tools, just get in touch. If we're not online when you send your message through, we'll get back to you the very next day. And that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching 